wasn't quite what I thought I'd be When I was a kid on VOIP I thought when I get older I'd marry her, I told her Now I'm 26 and I work in an office Nine till five's not the best, I'll be honest If I could change a single thing I'd make it me and not him He's in your bed, I'm in your Twitch chat I've got the key and he's just a doormat He's got social skills That doesn't mean I can't pay the bills Anyway, make the most of him Cause she moves on pretty bloody quick Oh, oh Your new boyfriend's an asshole. Jared. Of course I bet Jared. The one who took you away from me. You hit it off instantly. I know cause you won't stop telling me. I've seen his jawline, shoulders and muscles push against his fashion sense. I've thought about what he looks like nude. Not gay though. Cause she's living the dream. Oh she's living the dream. From back when we were 17. How on earth could I be safe when I'm one click away from insane? I just think that I deserve a little bit of what I earned. I'm not gonna make another scene. The one I made when I was 23 means I'm not allowed in Disney World. He's in your bed and I'm in your Twitch chat. Got the key and he's just a doormat. Cause even though he's got social skills, that doesn't mean I can't pay the bills. Anyway, make the most of him. Cause she moves on pretty bloody quick. Oh, oh. your new boyfriend's an asshole. I don't want a fan, want a fam. Trying to get bands with a band. Got a plan of attack and a lack and a man. Draw a line in the sand like a rack and a rant. Take roof, he planning. Plan. Understand? Yeah. Got a branch out, grab my hand. Last dance, got to take that one more chance. If I want to be a star, got to go like Van, like room. So damn. Yeah. Yo, man, yo, man. Everything I do on brand. on brand. Everybody following the kid with the ice down neck. Because they know it's a chain of command. Too sharp, don't glance. God damn. God damn. Hope that you feeling the vibe. Bye. Everybody moving aside to side. And I don't got a wave. Now I got a tide. I'll be get so high. Uh. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Days to confused all night. Yeah. When the moon gets so bright. Yeah. When the stars all got a line, huh? When you got a right, uh -huh. oh, that's right. Hi, I wanna be in your life. I wanna take you to places that you never been and pick pictures a word at a time. Yeah. I wanna teach you to fly and not yeah. come down. Trying to find truth yeah. and eyes to find yeah. love now. What now? I don't wanna wait till they come yeah. round. Doing this yeah. awesome future sex yeah. love sounds. Me and love, sad kid, the new yeah. instinct. We don't got plans, shit, it's all instinct. See, no, got them, the Pico, got them, and I'm the young man. We keep that sensei amazing. <laughs> Rap game quitting. Yeah. Everybody wanna fade me, but I'm chilling. Right. I don't got nothing against time, I don't kill it. Yeah. Spin it. Trying to make a second with a million, billion. Yeah. Raise me the ceiling. Yeah. Trying to make a mic turn to a whole building. Trying to get bills and still be real, but above all else, I want you to feel it. Hi! Hi! I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous? Hello, hello! Thank you so much for the resubs. Thank you! 
Avenue. <laughs> Cash money, babe. It's so hot. Ah! Alright, let me turn down the music a bit. <laughs> Hello everyone! This is how I'm discovering that, um, all of the Lovejoy mu music has been taken off of YouTube? Hello? Because <laughs> normally, normally the second song that plays is, um, a song from Lovejoy from Pebble Brain, and it's not on my playlist anymore, apparently they were all removed, but hello, hello, hello! Hi everyone! Oh my goodness, hello! Oh my goodness, uh, hi, hi, hi! I know, Blue. I- I didn't check my playlist before I started playing it, and apparently all the Lovejoy songs are no longer on YouTube. Or at least not the ones that I had on my playlist. Oh my goodness, I missed you guys! I'm like so nervous. It's like, you know, like, it almost feels like uh, when you like go back to school for the first time and like you have to like see the same people, but it's been like a long time since you've seen them all and you have to like remember how to like, exist around other people like talking to other people that's how i feel so hello everyone you did get your name changed uh do you do you want me to refer to you as leah now is that like whatever you prefer to be referred to as i will uh refer to you as hello aaron hello hello hi please smile hello iggy iggy oh my god aaron thank you for the gifted sub to Mirios. thank you so much oh guys thank you for the hype train what the heck hello skylar welcome in Hello, Lucky. Hello, Shattered. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my god. What do you think you're doing? Oh my god. Hello? Did, did I say you could be in here? It is the way that she has fully learned how to open my door. Yeah, I knew you were gonna reward her for it. Burp, 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 burp. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for the hundred bits, Blue. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everyone sees Bio and is like, uh, well, time to redeem Biscuit for Bio. You're getting a rewarded for your bad behavior. You guys are the reason that she knows to bust into my room when I start talking to y'all. This is on you. She, I think she has fully learned how to open the gate that I keep in front of because that was closed for sure. Closed for sure. All right, well, you can see her little face. Can I have your paw, Miss Mia? Thank you, here you go, you a biscuit. Wow, she missed you too. Bustin' makes her feel good. <laughs> wow, puppy. Yeah, they miss you. They miss you, my little shadow. Yeah, Miss Baby. Aww. She's being very sweet because we were gone for so long. My, my family was gone for literally four weeks. Um, so, well, actually four weeks and then we came back for like three days and then we left immediately again to go to Boston. So, um, she is, she's on her, she's in her clingy era. Um, I'll put my pot filter back down so hopefully my audio isn't awful, but yeah, baby. She's in her clingy era because, um, guys, it's been a minute, huh? It's been a minute. Um, the floor in my, the hole in my floor changes shape every time. I know, I know. I really gotta get that fixed. It's really, it's, it's like kind of like an OSHA violation, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yes, um, it's been a while. Um, as, as I uh, announced, um, I went on vacation with my family and the thing about vacation with my family is that it lasts forever. Um, we had, uh, I gotta turn down Wilbur Soup. Wilbur Soup a little bit. There we go. Um, it lasts forever. We, we literally, like, went to the beach the first week of July and then did not return from the beach until the first week of August. Um, 
I obviously, uh, I saw you guys once uh, in the interim um, where we just hung out and we chatted and I talked about Teco, um, which was the convention I went to in Pittsburgh, which was incredible. Uh, I had such a good time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, did you say Looney? You want to be called Looney? Okay, thank you, Looney. I appreciate it. Um, um, I was using a color depositing shampoo that was like rose gold, so we've got like a rose gold situation happening, but I'm trying to get it a little more, more vibrant pink. Thank you so much for the host, I appreciate it, and thank you, Akis! Thank you, Ma. I kiss you! And thank you for the gift to Lucky, Erin! Thank you so much! Oh my goodness! And the gift to Tuluni! What the heck? Thank you so much! Oh my god, Grant, hello! Thank you so much for the resub, I appreciate it! We're in the coffee shop today, thank you so much! Oh my goodness, guys, thank you, we hit daily sub goal! Oh my god, thank you, thank you, and we complete level through the hype train, you guys are so nice to me, what the heck? I'm gonna cry. Guys, my birthday is in five days, what the heck? What the heck? Oh, what are you doing? You leaving? I'm gonna be 25. 25. Do I look like I'm 25? Answer carefully. <laughs> yeah, in five days. My, my birthday's on the 28th. <laughs> um, but great. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much for the resub and the lurk. I appreciate it. Um, it's gonna be Virgo season, baby. Virgo season. Did you- you're in here now you can't get out? Go ahead, baby. There we go. All right. Maybe we won't have any more puppy inter interruptions, interludes. Um, <laughs> thank you, Shattered. Thank you. And thank you so much, Lucky. Of course, please eat, eat good food. Um, and blue and foggy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we were on vacation for a very long time. I was at the beach. Um, uh, I saw my family and like I love my family but being around family for a long time obviously can be like very draining like energy wise I was going to stream the Thursday after I came back from Boston um but Boston uh, <laughs> but I was feeling so so drained from like socializing and running around and traveling um, Boston is quite the haul from where I live um, it's about like a five to six hour drive. Um, and so, uh, I was just very, very tired and I kind of needed a period of time to like get readjusted to my routine, um, to like get back in the mindset of like playing games, um, talking to people. Thank you, Linny. I will take a sip. Guys, today I am drinking. Um, if anyone follows me on Instagram, you saw me yell about this on my Instagram story, but Bigelow, uh, green tea with pomegranate specifically. So good. A vibe check! <laughs> Looney, we basically are vibe checking, but I will, I will, ab we can absolutely have like a little jam session. We'll do a real vibe check where we listen to a banger song and we jam out a little bit. We stretch, we get our bearings, all those good things. <laughs> Just be Virgos over here. So true. You're loving your new coffee shop job. I'm so glad. Bye. Have a great day. Um, uh, but yeah, so it was just like, it was like, I needed, I needed like a couple days to just like clean my space around me, get my space back to where I wanted it to be. Guys, I bought a couple Halloween themed items. I'm so excited. Shops are already putting Halloween stuff out and uh, anyone who knows me knows that Halloween is my absolute favorite time of year. Um, Halloween has already started in my heart. It's already started in my heart. The Renaissance Fair has started. I literally went to uh, my local Renaissance Fair um, on Sunday. It was so nice. I got to see so many fun friends. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, um, that's a great place to see kind of my Ren Fair shenanigans and like what I'm doing with my friends. Um, it's also a place to see my cosplay if you're interested. You can exclamation point socials if you're not following me there already. Um, but yeah, it was very, very fun. Um, uh, when you're Levin's evil, <laughs> who's also two years younger than her and whose birthday is two days before. It's so true. Erin and I are like the same. We are one and the same. You don't have Halloween. I'm so sorry, Looney. Honestly, like Halloween is like a feeling. Like you don't need, you don't need everyone else to be ce celebrating Halloween to enjoy Halloween. Put on a scary movie, eat some candy, and you're basically living the Halloween fantasy, you know? Oh, 
Oh, very Taco and Loop of you, Aaron. Oh my God, <gasps> Aaron. Oh my God, we're Taco and Loop. <laughs> I need to re- I'm literally Hot Taz Summer, well summer is almost over and I need to do Loop Taco. I need to cosplay Loop Taco before it ends or I will cry. Um, <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, oh my god, I, my, I have like 10 million thoughts going on in my brain right now. So I'm sorry if I'm a little bit scattered and if I repeat a couple things, um, I'm trying to make sure I like catch up you got catch you guys up on everything so um i went to the beach that like was pretty uneventful i saw family stuff like that um and then i went to boston where i was a bridesmaid in my cousin's wedding um my my lovely lovely cousin who let me be one of her bridesmaids i'm so happy thank you guys for the hype train i appreciate it thank you so much um you guys are the best thank you for helping us hit daily sub goal um i we will have a nice little dance party as celebration when we vibe check um Yes, yes, Iggy. Iggy, are you bringing um, the boy with you by any chance? <laughs> um, the beach was very nice. Um, so then I went to Boston. Uh, Boston, that's where all of my New England friends are kind of local to, uh, is the Boston area. Um, I saw, I got to hang out with Matu. Um, we did a walking tour of the Liberty Trail, which is like a historical kind of like, uh, walking trail that you can you a guide like takes you through boston and talks about the historical happenings there um it was very cool there is an area of boston that literally looks like like diagon alley like it, it looks like it's straight out of like a fantasy like a D, D campaign um there's a tavern called the green dragon inn and um like the the bell in hand tavern which is the oldest tavern in america um um, it's so cool. Um, I really, really liked it. Um, and it was just, I took pictures and stuff like that. So maybe I'll drop a few in the IRL pics, um, channel of the discord if you guys are interested in that. But Boston is so pretty. Boston is genuinely a city that I would 1000%, not like in the city of Boston, but that area is definitely a place I would 1000% consider moving if I had like friends that I wanted to move in with um and the opportunity because it was such a gorgeous area um uh the weather was perfect um like all weekend it was gorgeous I got to go to the museum of science because that is where my cousin hosted her wedding so we got free passes to the wedding I have I have eyeshadow on my shoulder um <laughs> um uh, so I got to go around the Museum of Science, which is really, really cool. I am a huge museum person. You know, those like, um, those like cute little tweets that are about like what your favorite kind of like date is. My favorite kind of date is a museum date for sure. Um, whenever my friends come in who are not locals to my city, I always take them to my favorite museums right away uh, because it's just important to me. And um, I think that museums are a great way to explore kind of like local culture um, and learn a little bit about uh, like what's important around the area. Um, since it was a science museum, obviously it talked a lot about like local um, like uh, plant life and like the local ecosystem um and talked about some of the local businesses that were making a better impact on the environment which is cool and awesome um i know erin i'm so sad one day it's such a good museum i move into my new dorm on saturday with five other roommates in an apartment style dorm and one is bringing their esa oh my goodness oh it's always fun when one of your roommates comes with a bonus cat <laughs> It's like you get to have a pet cat, but he's not like your, they're not like your responsibility. So you get, you get all the benefits of a cat without having to be the actual owner. That's, that's always a sweet deal. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it was, it was very, very cool. Um, they had this really cool thing in the museum. It was like an electric show where they had like these giant Tesla coils where they shot electricity around and they played music and it was so cool. I don't know if this is such a niche reference, but if any of you ever saw, I don't know what year it came out. It had to be like 2008 or something. The 2008-ish uh, Nicolas Cage movie, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Um, but in that movie, the kid has access to like, um, these giant Tesla coils that he gets to experiment with. And in order to impress the girl that he likes, he plays Secrets by One Republic on the giant Tesla coils. Um, <laughs> that is what I was reminded of uh, with this um, 
this electric show, but it was so cool and so good. I, they had a greenhouse too that you got to walk through and like see a bunch of the plants that they were raising there and a bunch of different like insects uh, that they had in terrariums that were there that was so cool. Uh, yes, yes, Sorcerer's Apprentice. You guys know what I'm on about. Uh, let me see what year that actually did come out because I'm now I'm curious. Uh, curious. Uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice. What year did this come out? If it's 2008 on the nose, I'm... Oh, it was 2010! I was so close. I was so close. I literally said around 2010, and then I was said probably, like, 2008. My mind. The way I retained that. But yeah, so that's what it reminded me of, was, like, the scene where he plays Secrets by One Republic on the giant Tesla coils. Oh, iconic. Um, but yeah, uh, so that was super fun. I love museums. Um, the wedding was beautiful, um, my cousin is so lovely, and, um, she also teaches Spanish, um, to second graders in Boston, um, and so she had a bunch of, like, she also, like, lived in Spain for a period of time where she taught English to Spanish-speaking students, so she had a bunch of her, like, Spanish department friends there, so the, um, dance music, the DJ, uh, played a mixture of, um, uh, like Latin music and um, like typical like uh, you know wedding DJ songs. Uh, there were like no line dances, which I was so surprised. Like they didn't play Cha Cha Slide, they didn't play Cotton Eye Joe. Like hello, I thought those were staples. I thought these were staples at white people weddings. <laughs> hello, Liv. Oh my God, welcome back. I miss you too. Hello, hello. I was actually excited about the Tesla coils. I love that show. It's 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 literally such a good show. I like I love that. Um, it was, it was so cool. I didn't get to, like, really experience the full thing. My dad showed me a video that he took of, like, the body of the show, um, because I was at, uh, the wedding rehearsal during that time. Actually, no, I was at, I was getting photos taken with the wedding party. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to get those photos back as well. Um, we had, my bridesmaid's dress was red. It was off the shoulder. Um, I felt very pretty. It was, I, I made the mistake though of not, um, having it taken up, like taking the hem up because the hem was so long. Um, and, uh, I ended up having to wear like, like six inch stilettos to try and walk without stepping on the edge of my dress. And oh my God, they were painful to wear. My legs felt like I had like boards strapped to my thighs, um, the next few days because of how like difficult it was, like the way I had to tense my muscles to stand in those shoes. Never again, literally never again. Thankfully I had a change of uh, heels for the like the wedding party, like the reception. Um, but oh my God. It, for the for the time that I had to like stand in the front of the ceremony and like watch my cousin get married, my leg like I was like shifting the entire time because the pressure on my on my uh, feet were was intense, was painful. Um, you like how I complained about how it was hot and then I'm like drinking hot tea. I have a question. If I turn on, I have a little fan on my desk. If I turn it on, can you guys hear like an annoying buzzing sound in the background? Um, if yes, tell me and I'll turn it off. If no, I'm gonna have the fan on. <laughs> um, not that, not the, not the horrible vibration sound. There we go. You can't hear it? Awesome! If I ever get to be a maid of honor, I wanna wear a red suit. <gasps> that would be so cool, Shattered. I wasn't maid of honor, I was just one of the bridesmaids. Um, uh, her childhood best friend was her maid of honor, which, like, obviously that's... I feel like everybody's maid of honor should be, like, someone who's been in their life, like, forever and, like, been there for them. So it was very... And, and Priya, uh, who is uh, her bride, her maid of honor, is such a lovely girl. So it was so nice getting to spend time with her. Awesome! You guys can't hear my fans, so I'm keeping it on. Um, I also didn't do a fit check, so here's the fit check. I've worn this top before, but, like, here's the fit check. Blech. I've got these pleated shorts on. They're like cotton shorts. They've got pockets. They're really nice. And then I've got my little like this uh, like faux corset top from Cider um, with, with these beautiful Juliet sleeves. I love them so much. I love them. That's the fit. Um, <laughs> I think you might have seen it when I stood up to get bio anyway, but yeah. Uh, that's the fit today. Uh, it's, it's really, really hot right now, so I'm trying to dress as lightly as possible. Um, cause I have to run errands after this stream, I have to go, um, I have to go get parts for my car, but, uh, because my car is having issues and problems. 
Um, thank you, Erin! Once summer's over, it's fall fit time. Yeah, like, okay, so I don't like cold weather. I'm, I'm literally, like, willing to, like, embrace the summer as long as it's as it, long as it's willing to grace us with, with its presence i love the summer i'm a summer girly spring is my favorite season but like any warm weather i'm here for um fall uh i enjoy only because um i get to layer clothing and layering clothing is one of my favorite things to do it's so fun to style clothes like that um but i hate cold weather so much i even more than cold weather i hate um how short the days are like i just want it to be daylight for a longer amount of time so the fact that it gets so dark so quickly is like not my vibe um want to trade i can't stand hate yeah uh i i will trade <laughs> um i would rather melt into a little puddle than be cold and that's and I live by that. Um, but yeah, so the wedding was lovely. Um, being in Boston was lovely. Getting to see Matt was great. Um, we went to Bunker Hill as well. Um, uh, the walking tour was really gorgeous. Our, t our guide was like a, is like a stand-up comedian. So <gasps> hello, Scott. It was great. Thank you so much for asking. Welcome in. Yeah, I'm talking about uh, my time in Boston, which was we went to a Boston Red Sox. Like, oh my God, guys. We went to a Boston Red Sox game the day that we got into Boston, and I love baseball, and um, also the Red Sox won that game, so it was extra exciting to watch because why does my, like, white balance change when I put my hands up? Anyway, um, <laughs> do you see that? Why, why are you doing that? Anyway, um, uh, I love baseball. It's the one sport that I care about, um, and uh, we got to see the Boston Red Sox win, but... Even more importantly than that, um, uh, Billy Boyd was the guy, if you don't know, um, at baseball games, uh, they usually have someone, um, like, prominent throw the first pitch of the game, um, and Fenway Park, which is where the, the Red Sox play, is, like, a historically famous, um, baseball, uh, like, uh, baseball stadium. Um, I forgot the word stadium for a second. And, uh, so... Uh, Billy Boyd was the person who threw out the first pitch. Billy Boyd is the actor who played Pippin, uh, the Hobbit, in the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, he is such a gem, and I love him so much. He also, like, sings beautifully, um, and I adore him so much. And he came out onto the field with, like, a pack of, like, Lord of the Rings cosplayers with him. And I was like, how is this, like, like, is this actually having at the one baseball game I'm attending in Boston, Billy Boyd is throwing out the first pitch, and there's a bunch of cosplayers on the baseball field? Like, are you kidding? Like, they did that for me? <laughs> it was so cool! I found out uh, that Fan Expo Boston was happening in the area at the time, which is why um, he was there, and all of the actors from the Lord of the Rings movies who played Hobbits, uh, so Elijah Wood, Billy Boyd, um, I... I'm so bad at remembering names, but the actors who played Sam and Mary as well, um, they were all there, um, and they were doing, like, their unexpected reunion tour where they're touring together as the Four Hobbits and talking about the Lord of the Rings, and I assume something to do with the new, um, Lord of the Rings series that's coming out with Amazon Prime, um, and so it was really, really cool, um, I adore that man. The way that I, like, considered spontaneously buying a ticket to go to Fan Expo just to meet them or see their panel was, um, a considerable amount. I, I definitely pondered it for quite a while. Um, but yeah, so I, I love them. I love them dearly. That was a very, very cool surprise. Um, and Fenway was incredible. Um, definitely a very, very fun baseball stadium and a very fun, uh, crowd energy. Um, so... Uh, and the area around it was really cool, too. There were, like, a lot of music venues and kind of, like, a street fair that was happening right outside of Fenway Park. It was really, really cool. You've never seen Lord of the Rings? Oh, Scott, it's very good. If you like high fantasy at all, it is very, very good. Uh, yeah, Iggy, you have to. Who is it that's trying to watch all of the Lord of the Rings movies with you? Is it Mel? Um... Because I remember, I remember. I need to finish listening to the last book in the trilogy. I never read the books. Um, I read The Hobbit, which is a phenomenal uh, uh, Tolkien book. 
Um, I love The Hobbit, and it probably is the only um, Tolkien book I'll read because it was very easy to follow since it was just, like, one party of characters. Um, whereas my mom uh, told me that she tried to read the Lord of the Rings book in uh, high school, and because of the way that there's, like, a bunch of different storylines happening at once and there's so many characters happening in it, which I completely believe and understand, that it was very difficult to follow, and I think I would have the same kind of issue with it, so... Um, I will just enjoy the films. Um, yeah, Iggy has- oh, it's BB! That's right, BB's trying to get you to watch it. Yeah, Iggy has never seen Lord of the Rings, can you believe that? Fake- fake fantasy fan! Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, but it is- it is so good. Um, definitely a staple in, like, um, like, fantasy, uh, enjoying culture, but as well as just, like, cinem cinema culture. Like, it is such an incredible film. Um, definitely, um, stands out, uh, in history. Um, but... <laughs> oh no. Blue's not mad, they're just disappointed. <laughs> I had to read, uh, listen to the first book for a literature class and liked it a lot. And my best friend loves it, so I listened to the second. Oh, that's awesome! I completely understand, Aaron. Um... <laughs> it's so much time, though, Iggy. Iggy, my- I'll have to see if I can fit it into the massive itinerary I have. Uh, on hand for you guys, okay? Because uh, I'm taking you to the museums, I'm taking you to the tea house, I'm taking you to the market, we're going to the beach, we're going to the Ren Fair, okay? Okay, we have some things on our plates. <laughs> Blue, you haven't been to the beach before, right? I think I've asked you that like a million times before, but I think that's why I'm so convinced that we're going to the beach while you're here. Um... Guys, Iggy and Plu are coming to visit me. It's uh, it's happening. I'm so excited. Plu, we're gonna go to the beach, and it it'll be it'll be um cool. Like it won't be hot because it's it's um it's the Jersey Shore. Like <laughs> in October, it will be chilly. Uh, I've been semi invited to that event, and still not hundred sure if I'm allowed to join. Aaron, you are allowed to join. I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to hold your hand. This is a swimmable beach. It, it, it is it is 1000% a swimmable beach, Iggy. It might be chilly, but it's swimmable. The beach waves are kind of disrespectful if it's nasty water in my mouth. Ah, oh, true. Uh, you're supposed to close your mouth when you go in the water, Scott. <laughs> I'm not a beach goer type, but I would love to visit. Yeah, we'll just take a nice walk. Um, it's, it's a really beautiful area around there. We can go in the promenade and get gelato and my favorite pizza in the world. No. <laughs> it's okay, I'm built different. Iggy says, I'll just I'll just pass away. I know. My mom is so sad because she uh she has to fly to California literally the day after Iggy and Plu arrive. Devastating, tragic. Gelato! Gelato, gelato, gelato! Gelato fans, let, gelato nation, let me let me uh hear ya. Um, they have incredible gelato. <gasps> Danny! Oh my goodness, hello! I love you so much! I got to see you. Guys, everyone say congratulations to Danny on becoming the Royal Falconer at our local Ren Fair. Congratulations, Danny! I love you! I'm so proud of you! I've been seeing all the videos of you, and I'm so, I'm so, so proud of you. Um... You, you do get to see Mama Lem, Plu. You get to see Mama Lem for a night, and then she leaves the next morning. So you, you do get to see Mama Lem, don't worry. Um, <laughs> I love you, Danny. Uh, you're the coolest, you're the coolest person I know. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Uh, you will get to see, you will get to see Mama Lem the, the day that you arrive. She just has to leave the next day. Um, uh, so I also want to I also want to talk like off the topic uh, really quick of like vacations and trips and stuff like that um, Let me let me talk really quickly about some stream related stuff um, because obviously it's been a while here and also um, I like It's it's weird, right? Uh, I've been away for a little while and I also feel like um, like when I was looking back on my streams and like thinking about stuff I, I've been like super inactive on like my stream TikTok. Um, I've, I've been, like, a little bit, um, uh, scarce in the Discord, and I really apologize for that. I tried to do questions of the day, like, all the time while I was on vacation, but 
It's really hard to think of questions that I are like, because I want you guys to have like a chance to share something interesting about yourselves um, or like think about your your question, the question a little bit instead of it being like, like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Like, what's like, what's your favorite movie? Like, just like, like standard, like icebreaker questions. I like having like fun questions that make you think a little bit or like are about things that are like uh, things that I enjoy, like like the Percy Jackson question um, uh, for his birthday. Like, I like giving you guys interesting questions and it is kind of difficult to think of like fun questions to ask on a daily basis. So I tried, um, it's crazy how the day you return is the day Jordan leaves. I know, I know. I didn't realize that Jordan was leaving this week, but that makes sense because I was originally supposed to go on a trip to, uh, Vancouver, which is where he is vacationing, and I was supposed to meet him and Grady and stuff like that, and Plu and Iggy, but the timing just didn't work out. Um, I didn't really have the funds to properly do the trip, so um, we're shelving that. It will happen. It will happen, but that is so funny. Um, yes. Um, uh, but yeah, so uh, it, it's not that I'm not it's not that like I'm not as engaged in streaming as I was before. I love streaming. I love getting to talk to you guys. I love having like a routine and a reason to like get out of bed and uh yeah, I do. I do Scott. He's another streamer uh friend of ours. Um but um and he's he's going to a concert. Uh he's going to see the neighborhood. Oh, you were left in the dark. Maybe I spoiled a surprise, but guys, if if I did, if I spoiled a surprise, then just act like you don't know. Just act, act like you're surprised when he tells you, okay? <laughs> just between, just between us, guys. Uh, but yeah. Um, I would simply drive love into friends all the way to Vancouver. Danny, road trip to Vancouver? <laughs> um. Okay, wait, hold on a second, because I... There we go, okay. The 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 Twitch app changed and now there's like a creator mode. Um and I have to I can see things on 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 mobile now. But yeah. Um so in terms of streaming, it's not that I don't enjoy streaming anymore. I very much enjoy streaming. Um it's just like I have to get back in a mindset um uh where i'm not just like getting stuck in um a rut because i feel like every time i would just like hop on stream and then just like play dead by daylight for like because i didn't know what else to do um not that i don't enjoy playing dead by daylight i very much enjoy playing dead by daylight but i really want to work on making stream more interactive for you guys more engaging for y'all so it's not just me like talking to like like talking to myself and like and like commentating every once in a while um, I really liked when we played story games, um, and there's just, like, uh, a ton of games that I want to explore and, um, try, and, like, honestly, guys, um, I love horror games, I love horror games so much, and I, and, um, I've been kind of, like, keeping myself from playing a ton of horror games all the time, because I was in this, like, mentality that, like, I should save them for, like, spooky stream occasions and stuff like that where you guys can jump scare me with sound alerts. But I think that I'm just gonna start playing a bunch of horror games, uh, anytime I feel like playing one. Um, and then whenever I am playing one, I will turn on sound alerts so that you guys can, um, spend some bits or, or spend some channel points to start jump scaring me because I truly love uh, those streams a lot. I think they're super fun and super engaging. Um, and uh, I used to have them as sub goals uh, periodically because that way we could kind of get excited for them. But I think that it's fun to just have that be a thing you can do whenever I play a scary game. Um, and I also kind of want to have like a second um, panel of um sound alerts when i am playing dead by daylight because i love playing dead by daylight so i will continue to play it frequently um where you guys can um 
play sound alerts that m sound like the hatch opening, uh, sound like pallets dropping and stuff like that. Basically sound cues that are in Dead by Daylight that will confuse me and, um, and like, uh, make me think that the killer is near me when he's not near me. Um, I think that would be very fun, um, and very, like, interactive where you guys can screw with me while I'm playing Dead by Daylight. Um... I also want to kind of talk about sub goals, um, cause obviously for a, a while I've had like a daily sub goal going and that's, um, not quite the same as having like a sub goal where I have an objective that we're trying to reach together. And that's because I feel like I fell behind in upholding my sub goal, um, promises and I never wanted to do that. I never wanted to be like that streamer that's like, oh yeah, I'll do this if you guys gift subs and then I just never do the thing. Um, so there are four, I believe it's four, maybe three. There are three major sub goals that we hit that I did not have an opportunity to follow through on yet. Um, the first one and, and one of the most classic, uh, like ones that I've mentioned a bajillion times that I still haven't gotten to follow up on is the sea shanty stream. Um, this is a sea, this is a stream where we, I will be singing sea shanties with my friends and playing Sea of Thieves. Um, for a while, the reason I wasn't following up on that was because I didn't have Sea of Thieves and I didn't have it downloaded. Um, but now I have it downloaded, I've played it, I'm familiar with it, um, and I have friends who would love to play it as well. So, um, I just have to, uh, reach out to my friends, make the plan, and we're going to do it ASAP. I was trying to build it, like, way too much into, like, a full production, like, dramatic production thing, and I was overcomplicating it, and that was why it, I was, like, getting held up on it, because I wanted to cosplay, which I would still do, I'll still dress like a pirate, obviously, um, but, like, I wanted to film, like, an introductory thing for it, and I was just, like, making it way more of a production than it needed to be and therefore I kept tabling it so I could put the effort into the production I wanted it to be um and then I never like got to do it so I don't want to um fail you guys um uh th thank you Erin thank you um uh yeah I I didn't want it to seem like I was just promising that and I was never going to fall through on it. It has been on my mind forever. I do have pirate clothing. I go to the Ren Fair a lot, Scott. So I have a ton of costume pieces that are like for that era of like piracy and like um, like medieval times and stuff like that. Like I have a lot of, of costuming for it. Um, so Sea Shanty Stream is on my, is like next on my checklist. The other one um, is the uh, prom, the the prom dress um, sub goal where I'm going to wear my prom dress that I wore to my senior prom um, and I'm going to get dressed up like I'm going to the prom and then we're going to play monster prom and we're going to find me a prom date. That one is a more recent goal that I haven't had a chance to f uh, f like fulfill, um, mostly because of like the vacation time that I had to take and I wanted time to like give you guys advance notice that I was going to be doing it so that you guys would have a chance to like, like if you wanted to like make a stream and it was something special like that where I was getting like dressed up and we were playing a special game, I wanted you guys to have notice so that you'd be able to know whether or not you could make it uh, or if you wanted to like plan something so that you weren't missing that stream, you could. Um... So that is the next one, um, uh, is, is the prom date. We will definitely be doing that as well. Um, and then the last one and the, the major one that I feel the worst about that, that I haven't fulfilled yet is, um, a lo uh, like a while ago, I had a sub goal, um, to help me purchase a capture card so that I could play Animal Crossing on stream and I would dress up as Celeste from Animal Crossing. And, um, I never had, like, I never got around to purchasing the capture card because I was trying to find a capture card that wasn't the Elgato one because I've heard some, um, I've heard some, like, pros and cons. I've heard some cons about the Elgato one, especially because it's Elgato brand, which means that they can upcharge something like that. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I was buying a capture card where I wasn't overpaying for it. 
um, but I could still get quality so that like we didn't have stream delay. Um, I, honestly, a lot of the thing that held me up about that was like my fear of not understanding the technology and then like sinking some money into like a device that like I, d I couldn't figure out how to like get on my computer. Like I've never hooked up a console to stream. All of the games I've ever streamed have been PC games, so it's been really simple. Um, and I think I just got like overwhelmed by the thought of having to learn like a new thing for stream. Um, and so I kind of like neglected it and then I never ended up doing it. And that is still something I really, really want to do. Honestly, like I haven't touched my Animal Crossing Island in so long and I haven't bought the DLC yet because I really wanted to do that on stream and to do that with you guys. Um, so I, I'm going, that is, that is like, um, my next, like, like, goal um is to find a capture card get over my fear of figuring out a capture card and then um uh playing animal crossing and cosplay for you guys because i think that would be super fun um i know that animal crossing new horizons disappointed a, a bunch uh like some animal crossing fans because they feel like it didn't have as much to do it didn't have as much staying power and i i have to agree um, it doesn't have as much staying power as New Leaf did. Um, honestly, I've been playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp for longer than the average human being. I've been playing it since it dropped, and I haven't stopped playing it since. Um, and the fact that I can play Animal Crossing Pocket Camp more consistently than I play Animal Crossing New Horizons is kind of sad, considering I bought the an I bought a Switch so I could play Animal Crossing. I bought the Animal Crossing Switch, too. This is my Switch, guys. Isn't she cute? Um, see, it's the one that has, like, the Animal Crossing, uh, embossing on the back. Um, I love her very much. Um, I've been playing Sky Children of Light with, uh, Blue and Mel. I got to play it with them last night, and I played, uh, I played a little bit of it, um, uh, a, like, before I went on vacation with Blue. Um, yeah, so I, uh... Yes, I, I, I definitely agree, Erin. I definitely think that there's like easy ways for me to get around my, my fear of, uh, uh, so when I get my capture card, Plu, when I get my capture card, we can play some Sky Children of Light on stream as well. Um, yes! My Switch is a Skyrim machine, as, as is your right, Danny, as is your right. Here's like my cute little charging station. This is the one that Animal Crossing Switch came with, and then I put this Kirby sticker on it because he's in an inner tube, and like, it literally fits so perfectly on the little ocean. Are you kidding me? I I I made this choice impulsively, and I don't regret it. I think it's so cute. It looks like Kirby is waving to the nooks. Um, I love it so much. This is my little Switch. <laughs> it's my only Nint like, um. Oh God, I I thought I hit a button and ended stream. Ha ha ha! How sad would that be? If I just like suddenly ended stream. And I was gone because I hit, like, the escape key on my keyboard or something like that. But yeah. So. So yeah. Switch streams. Um, that is what I want to do. So those are my three things. So here's the thing, right? I want to start doing sub goals again where we're working together um, to, like, do a big production stream. Or, like, production stream meaning, like, it's something where, like, I get in costume or like it's super interactive. Like I want to do goal like sub goals like that again because I feel like those are a lot more um like beneficial for you guys. Like you're not just gifting subs to support me. You're gifting subs so that you guys get a reward um where we get to do like a bigger planned out stream um and you guys get to interact with it a lot more. Um but I don't feel comfortable doing that until I fulfill the promises from previous sub goals. So the daily sub goals are here um, as like a little like uh, like thing to uh, tide us over until we I have fulfilled all my promises and then I want to do like overall community sub goals again because I think those would be uh, really really fun. Um, your sweet cheese. <laughs> I love Kirby so much. He's just a little guy. I love him so much. My Animal Crossing themed Switch is my blessed baby, my good time boy, my sweet cheese. Thank you, Erin. Thank you. You're so, so sweet. Like, thank you guys so much for, like, still being here um, after I took my hiatus. I know that, like, staying subbed to somebody when they're not actively streaming uh, can be kind of, like, disappointing. Um, 
Uh, but... Um, I thank you so much for those of you who stuck with me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, you have no idea. Um, like, uh, like I said, my, my car is having issues. So like, um, and I'm actively looking for a, a new job that's in my field. So, um, like even like being able to justify spending my time, um, doing like doing this, like streaming and talking to you guys, um, and getting like, even like a little bit of like, uh, a financial benefit from that kind of thing is insane and I never imagined that that would be the case but I like appreciate it from the bottom of my heart that you guys are here to support me uh, and keep me going I love you I love you guys so much <laughs> you don't have to do it you were never ever obligated to do it but the fact that you do it because you want to and you enjoy my content really really means the world to me and I'm not gonna cry on stream I promise <laughs> I love you! Mwah! I love you so much! I love you guys! Okay, so what time is it? It's like 2 p.m. So we've been going for like an hour. So um, we're the little gay people in here that like me. I That TikTok is one of my favorite ones because I feel like it so accurately describes my relationship with my community. It's like, bitch, there are little gay people in here that like me! <laughs> I love that dynamic with you guys. I love it so much. Okay, so... I wanna, I wanna run um, a poll really quickly for what we should do today, um, because I have, I have hooked on you, which is the Dead by Daylight dating simulator that they released, um, literally right before I was going on vacation. So rude of them to do that. How dare they release their dating sim when I'm literally gonna be away from my PC for weeks? Um, hello. Do you not know that I'm like your number one fan, Dead by Daylight? Um, uh, so I have. The dating sim, it's downloaded and everything. Um, I want to um, romance the spirit. Um, I have not watched any content of it. I haven't seen any spoilers of it, so I'm going in blind. Um, I have that. Or because this is like kind of like a get like like a comeback stream, like we're getting adjusted to things, we're kind of settling in. I could either play a couple rounds of Dead by Daylight, um, just uh, like Killer or some solo Survivor or anything like that. Um, and uh, just kind of like chat with you guys as we do something casual. Um, or this is out of the blue, this is very random, but just something that was like in my brain because um, I, I have... I have like weird brain worms for it right now. We could we could out of the blue play Sims and return to my um my playthrough of the Zodiac challenge and try to see if we could get my uh my gal uh <laughs> a boyfriend. <laughs> so um let me let me run a poll really quickly uh to see what we we want to do. Uh what game? is the question so hooked on you uh dead by daylight so my goodness or the sims uh the sims 4 uh and we're gonna have that going for let's have it going for like i think two minutes is long enough to decide what game we're gonna do um, and you guys can vote and tell me what you guys want to do today because we can play Sims, we can play Dead by Daylight, we can play, we can start Hooked on You. Um, the thing about Hooked on You is I don't think we'll get, uh, super far into it today. Um, and I don't know how the saving works in that game. So that's my only hold up on Hooked on You. If we don't play Hooked on You today, I'm going to play Hooked on You on Thursday. Um, because I really, really want to, uh, check it out and explore it. So, um, it's apparently a pretty long game. Um, Plu said that they watched someone play it for like eight hours or something in order to get through the whole thing So it will definitely be a more than one stream type of game Um, but for today, what do you want to do? What do you what would you like to do together? These are all things that I will play if not today sometime soon, but just let me know I have to leave someone I'm voting anyway, of course Aaron, uh, your opinion matters to me no matter like whether or not you're here, okay? <laughs> so I appreciate your input. Um, but yeah, that so thank you guys for listening to me um talk about that. Um I I apologize um for how I slacked on sub goals. Like I said, it was never my intention. Like genuinely from the bottom of my heart, I never wanted to um promise things and then not fulfill those promises. I just got I like 
I don't know if you remember the period of time here, guys, where like we could hit sub goals really quickly. It was an insane time where we had like uh, an amazing um, like like support system of people who were just like overly generous, um, which was incredible. But it meant that I was hitting sub goals like a lot quicker than I had ever anticipated hitting those sub goals. And so the list of things that I promised grew much uh, like longer and quicker than I thought it would have done. So I, I kind of got overwhelmed and fell behind and I am so sorry for that. Um, I love you guys and thank you for your patience with me. It looks like we are playing The Sims. Um, <laughs> um, we're playing The Sims! Oh my god, guys. Okay, let me, let me launch The Sims. Let me make sure that EA is not going to be, like, um, you can't play this today because you have to download the this and this and this and this and this. Because they love to do that to me. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> me trying to log into EA and forgetting my freaking password. Um, oh, yeah, see, it's like you have to update The Sims 4. Let's make sure, let, let, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh, fingers crossed, one, this doesn't kill my frames, and two, which it shouldn't. Um, two, it's a quick download. Because everyone knows that EA loves their lengthy download times, but, um, yeah. Uh... I'm very excited to get back on track. I'm very excited to see sh sh eh, see Shanty stream. Um, I have I've told you guys about her before, but I plan on cosplaying my pirate uh, bard from my from an old D and D campaign that I was in when we do see Shanty stream. So I'm very excited for that, Miss Velia. Um, I have a painting of her that I can show you guys while we wait for the EA download. This is my this is my pirate. I know she doesn't look super piratey in this particular painting. My friend Wiz did this for me and it's so so beautiful. Um, but it's modeled after the chariot tarot card. Um, so this is her, this is she. I adore her so much. Um, and I am very excited to uh, be her uh, for for stream. Um, I've had such TTRPG brain run. Oh my god, guys. I, I started watching Bridgerton, um, and by started watching Bridgerton, I mean I binged all of season one in like a day, um, and then simultaneous to that, I've been watching the new Dimension 20 season, A Court of Fae and Flowers, so like my brain rot for Regency era and like just like, like high society, uh, like balls and stuff like that. That's all that's going on in my brain. That is all that's going on in my brain. I want to do a D&D campaign that is focused on, like, society, uh, like, high society and, like, relationships and stuff like that. Because I think that is such a cool mechanic to have, like, um, to have, like, a reputation that you have to maintain. I also think that, like, it would be very fun to do that in D&D, but I also feel like that could be really, really cool to do in, like, a Vampire the Masquerade type uh, style game, because Vampire the Masquerade has a lot of opportunities to, um, interact with, like, a high society, because it's kind of built into the game that there is, like, a hierarchy, uh, like, a social hierarchy of vampires, um, so I think that would be cool, too. I wonder if anyone's ever done, like, a, a Regency-style Vampire the Masquerade. Um, oh, I think my game, I think my game did it. I think, it, I think it did the dang thing. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that EA lets me play Sims. Also, vampires are sexy. So true. <laughs> so true, Arid. Are are up sexy. <laughs> Let me reading that normally, Aaron, so that I don't fall into your trap. Um, is very funny to me. The new vampire anime. Um. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Sims is doing this thing where you launch the game and then it's like, we're downloading new content in the background. Restart the game to access the new content. And then you have to restart the game immediately. I love that. I love how it does that. I love how it downloads launches the game, and then immediately is like, we have to start the game over. 
Call of the Night. I haven't heard of it. I'm gonna Google it. It wasn't a time I just like saying up sexy. Okay, gotcha. Uh, let me let me do a quick Google search. Ooh. Oh, the animation looks pretty. I really like the the colors of the visuals. <laughs> What's up, sexy? Bye, Erin! I love you so much! Have a great day! Oh my god, I think we're doing it. <laughs> ah! Ah! Iggy! You fell for it! You fell for it! Haha! -ha, Iggy fell for it! <laughs> Oh, it's more of a romance anime, but there's a little fighting. Cool! I mean, I'm a sucker for romance anime anyway, so the fact that there's romance in it at all is good. <laughs> um, I've been trying- I haven't- Uh... Sorry, I just had three different thoughts at the same time, and my brain didn't know which one to start saying out loud. Uh, in terms of new anime, I've just been trying to watch Spy X Family. I only watched the first episode so far, but I really liked it, so I want to keep watching it. Um, and then, uh, uh, I just showed a bunch of my friends, uh, the first episode of one of my favorite animes of all time, which is School Live. Um, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, do not spoil it in the chat because I still have to show Iggy the first episode of it if Iggy hasn't seen it. Um, and the first episode has, like, cool, uh, like, uh, a, a cool surprise in it, so I don't want anyone spoiling what that's about. But if if you know what I'm talking about, you know why I love School Live so much. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Uh, I know you work today, uh, but I know you don't work tomorrow, and neither do I. So like, so like, are we watching School Live together tomorrow, or at least the first episode, or what? All right, guys. Sims is launched. Let's get let's get this. Let's get this spread. I feel like that's an outdated term at this point. Yeah! Yes! Tomorrow my plans are go to the doctors, spend time with my friends, and that's it. Okay, guys, it has been a hot minute. Look at how bad this house is. Look at how sad it is. We only have $2,000 to our name. I, I just, I simply, uh, like, uh, every time I think about this house, I get sad because it's so poorly constructed. Um, I wish I could tear it down and, like, have the money to rebuild it reasonably, but I know for a fact that Sims is not going to be that kind to me. Um, so, uh, if you have not been here for previous Sims, uh, gameplay, this is our Sim. We are doing a thing called the Zodiac Challenge, where we just have a Sim themed after a specific Zodiac sign. Um, I believe this is our Aquarius Zodiac, uh, a Proma. Um, uh, uh, she has a little bit of fame to her, uh, her reputation because she is, I believe, in entertainment. Let me look at her career. Um, sorry, I'm, like, leaning over because my little fan blocks, like, the bottom corner. <laughs> uh, of, okay, her needs are doing well, though. Um, oh, that's her objective. Yeah, here she is. She's a serious musician. Um, so this is her career. What do I have to do? I just play my daily inch. I have to play my instrument. I work in 18 hours. Okay, perfect. So it's 9 p.m. Um, this is, uh, the guy that we have been, you know, uh, flirting with, but apparently he, uh, had... A relationship? I don't know if he still does, but he was definitely married to somebody, and we 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 accidentally homebrecked. Okay. Oh my god! Did you see that? One of the one of the options was asked to be woohoo partners, which is just basically friends with benefits. That's insane. Are you can come in? I guess. Invite in. Why not? All the homies are free tomorrow to watch School Live and hold hands in the sky. Exactly! Exactly! Where are you going? You're gonna sit on the couch and invite him in? That was bizarre. 
the guy you've been manipulating and getting his relationship out out the way get that divorce money yeah honestly if he, though if he moves into my house i get all of his money and i bankrupt his wife um so like what do we think about that huh what do we think about that are you gonna touch my violin i don't know how i feel about that i don't know how i feel about you playing my instrument um let's see all right we do have to play I'm gonna play this. Oh. It's broken. Fascinating. Ooh, uh, he came into my house and immediately stressed me out because he started playing music poorly? Um... Don't quit your day job. What's your name? Simon? Simon. Yeah, so I think- I think I have... His wife and my... Yeah. And you know the worst thing about it is that I liked his wife. Do you remember? Okay, so uh, the last time we were here, um, we went to the bar and started making out in front of his wife, who is the bartender. So she had to like maintain like the professional demeanor of being like, oh, like, I don't care. Uh, I totally don't see my husband over there making out with someone um, who is not me. Um, in my place of work. Um, but then she'd like come out from behind the bar and then like slap us around or slap uh, Simon, which honestly, you know, he kind of deserves. Like, cause like this man came into our lives. Um, he accepted our advances and not once did he mention that he was married. So like, is that really our fault? Is that really our fault? Tickle the ivories. Oh my God. Um, let's see. I just like, is there like a practice? I'll, I'll tickle the ivories. Sure, why not? Apparently I can tickle the ivories if I'm, if I'm feeling flirty. Can I? Yeah. She slapped you and you didn't get into a bar fight? Yeah. Uh, well, I think we very much did get into a bar fight. This is my little frog. It's my little sunflower frog. I love them. I think this is a postcard that I got from a friend. Look at my little guys that I have up here. Oh, these are my little like souvenirs from all the events we've gone to. Those were my gachapon toys. How does this house look? Okay. Let's not talk about how this house looks at all, okay? Okay? Uh, for, for the amount of money that I had coming into this, this is not bad. It's not bad. If we're getting better, did I spend like $800 on this mirror? Yes, but it's it's important. Only the essentials. Brilliant! Hello, hello! Oh my goodness! Thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate it. I hope you've been doing well. It's so good to see you. Hello, hello! Oh, I have to change my category to The Sims, huh? I should probably do that. The Sims. The Sims 4, there we go. Now I'm in the correct category. I know how to stream, I'm a streamer. Brilin, how have you been? I hope you've been doing well. Yeah, my, like, listen, the kitchen is the kitchen, okay? This is all I can afford. Look, it's my participation medal for competing in the pie competition. I think a Proma is uh, pretty good at cooking if I do, if I remember correctly. Girl, why are you not good at this instrument? Hold on. All right, we're gonna turn off my little fan for now so that I can move it so I can see the bottom of my freaking Sims menu because I keep just blindly clicking on things. And that's not the move. Okay. 75% uh, done. As soon as I'm done this, this daily task, I will cook. But let's see, which one's my, this is my skills. I'm looking at it. Yeah, level five in cooking and, oh, piano is a separate skill. That makes sense. I'm level six in, on the violin, but p my piano skills are a little bit rusty. I want to get good at the piano though, because I can write jingles professionally and then uh, I get paid every time I write a good jingle, so. Workaholic lifestyle, oh no, girl. Oh, needs decay slower. Oh, okay, okay. That's not terrible. 
Increased work performance gain. That's great. Difficulty in keeping long-term relationships. I don't like that. Can go... Go to work on off hours and demand promotion from boss. Receives extra work related benefits when in the corporate worker career. Well, I'm not in the corporate worker career, am I? Tense when neglecting work duties or without a job. See, that that end part is a little sad. No, Halisha. Uh Do you not have a mirror in your bathroom? I don't think I don't think so. If it's not broke, no need to fix. <laughs> oh, um, no, I don't have a mirror in my bathroom. Why would anyone need to see themselves in the bathroom? <laughs> I just have this one. I have the only mirror I'll ever need. This guy. This is the one thing that I don't like about Simon. First of all, I think I have the trait that I don't like mischief. Um, preferences. I thought I had likes and dislikes. Dislikes mischief right there. This man, that is, that is a trap on the toilet. That is a prank. He has pranked my toilet. And I literally don't know what to do to get them to stop doing that because they do it every single time. And when you trigger that trap, oh, this is my music award. Um, When you trigger that trap, it literally breaks the toilet. Every single time. All right, time to, uh, do I have leftovers? I think I do. Hopefully they're not bad. Oh, are you about to applaud me when I'm like two seconds away from finishing? Yeah, I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna be done that. Ah! A promo does very much like Simon though. So I think we do have to home wreck if we haven't already. Oh, he's leaving. Bye! Thanks for standing awkwardly in my house for a period of time. Always a pleasure. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it's good. It's good. The quality is excellent. How do I be making stuff that's excellent quality and um, not winning the pie competition? Beyond me. I guess baking is a different skill. Here's the thing about Sims 4 is that they made everything... Um, everything a skill like its own individual skill so instead of it just being like oh yeah the cooking skill it's like you have like a cooking skill a baking skill like uh, like a, a mixology skill stuff like that all right time to go to bed cool 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 this is an okay sleep schedule 2 30 a.m is about the time i go to sleep <laughs> if i if i'm uh neglecting Oh, and there's like little foxes that run around here. I wonder if that fox that we're like friends with is gonna be around. Um, and then work starts at oh 3 p.m. Okay, we have like the entire day to enjoy ourselves as well. That's amazing. Oh, I have to achieve level four of the piano skill. What are these? Listen to Latin music. Listen to alternative music. Do I even have a stereo? Being prompted these things, but I genuinely no. Do I look like I can afford a stereo? Oh, oh, that's right. When I moved into this neighborhood, someone like brought this lump of clay with them and then they left it in my house. And now every single day my Sim wakes up and makes something out of clay. <laughs> God, this is a good game. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna use this and then immediately break it. So he does, he does keep breaking my toilet. He breaks my toilet and like, and then I either have to spend time like repairing it or I have to just replace the, I think I got to a point last time when we were playing that it broke so many times that I just started replacing it every single time. But that is not a lifestyle I can afford to maintain. Um, let's see. Oh, so, okay. I'm going to make, see, look, it's, see, look immediately oh i replaced it yeah it's 125 dollars every time every time i can't live like this they're gonna lose oh this is the fox i'm friends with came to my house you can okay sure sure Oh my god. Oh my god. The worst. 
That TV is on its last antenna. Yeah. Yeah, we're not quite living the in the lap of luxury, but I'm a musician. What can I say? I wish I had clay to play with Sag. Uh, it's so true. True. So true. Clay is very fun to play with. Uh, she just left it a lump. She didn't make anything out of it. Oh, I'm looking at the frog. Okay, can you like maybe clean up the mess that you've created? I swear to God. I wonder if I have a good enough... What's my handiness skill? Because if I get a good enough handiness skill, I can upgrade my toilet. And I think I can make it unbreakable. Oh. You're joking. You're joking. <sighs> Ugh, I love playing The Sims. I love having control over my life and never having to deal with any kind of stressful thing breaking or anything like that. What is my... where's my repair skill? Why is it not here? Am I blind? Handiness. There it is. I am blind. Okay. It's a level 4. That's not bad. Can you... can we... can we not do this? I mean, I guess it's increasing my handiness skill, so that's one thing. Oh, gosh. Hi, Matsu! Hello, hello. <gasps> thank you for the resub! I appreciate it! Thank you, thank you! Wait, what are you doing? What was she, what was she about to do? Hmm. And then it's gonna like upset my sim to do it, but. Sorry. In front of my computer, I have a little apple that is filled with apple cider vinegar to trap fruit flies. And I just watched a fruit fly enter, never, never again to return. Alright, I need to scavenge for parts because I do want to try and upgrade this. See... We, we can do it eventually. Either that or it's like, do I just upgrade the toilet? Why are we doing this? <laughs> Get leftovers. Eat food. And then we're going to practice the piano until we have a level 4. If you invite over time and you can decrease so true. Nothing like a man in my house to de-stress uh, me. Can you eat it? <laughs> the 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 complete lack of autonomy is a lot. <gasps> Hi, Blaze. Oh my God. He just like he just like enters my home and then runs out. I love that for him. It's the same guy, right? Wait, I have to pause. It's the same guy, right? Yeah! Hee <laughs> hee. Why not? Why not, you know? Yeah, so one of these days, um, I might do it off stream just so, um, I can, like, really... Oh, no. I hate the refined palette cork. The refined palette quirk, okay, so this thing that just popped up here that says I have a refined palette is because I'm a level one celebrity. Ugh, I know, everyone, hold your applause. Um, but you, you develop quirks, um, and, uh, they're just, like, random, and so the, ref the refined palette quirk is, um, one where I have to have, uh, food that's of an excellent quality, otherwise I get upset, which, you know. Great. <laughs> I can start doing this this stuff though. You see what's going on? Crazy action from here on out. I catch the one's attention. Ooh, that might be nice because I'm a musician. That's what I'll probably do. I don't want the corporate part partnership one because I'm doing that with a different sim. Um, let's do this one. Perfect. But look, she has a great mood uh, because this is absolutely excellent meal. Mm, that food was scrumptious. Truly a meal fit for a celebrity like a broma. Now, time to play with Clay. Um, actually, we're going to play the piano. 
We are just going to practice the piano. The fox is probably trying to steal, but he sees your house and sees your both poor. Yeah, he runs in and he's like, a bitch, you live like this? And then he runs out. He's probably spreading gossip to all the other neighborhood foxes. Blaze, my man, how could you do that to me? There we go. Oh, we're so close. Just that little sliver. Oh, God. Soon, we'll be level four. Ding! And now all of my goals are complete for the work day. So I'm going to immediately stop doing that. Um, and let's see. Okay, we got a shower. Hygiene is poor. Um, makes sense because, um, I spent my entire morning on my knees cleaning, uh, all of the mess that the bathroom created, so. Oh my goodness! Hey, remember when I moved my fan? Blah! Of course my mouse is like, let's go this way. There we go. Remember when I moved my fan? Apparently I moved it um, to the edge of my desk to a point where um, I knocked it completely off. There we go. Okay, that should work. Is there a neighborhood vote? No. Hello? Yay! Ah, I love being right about everything. Look at this. Just call me Cupid from hooking up other sims. Give a promo a bow and arrow. Cupid has competition now. I find that, like, most of the time if you just tell another sim to, like, do the thing that they asked you about. Like, look at this freaking house. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to compete with this? I live in this neighborhood. How am I supposed to compete with how nice your house looks? Don't look at my house. Oh my god, do not look at my house. Oh, you're pretty. What, who are you? Apricot McProud? Truly a phenomenal name. Oh, what a cute outfit. What am I reading? Um, Lucas Dark and the increasingly unlikely series of coincidences. The, this gripping mystery tells the tale of Lucas Dark, an exceedingly attractive author with nothing left to lose but his mind. Written by future award winner Lucas Dark, this- But wait, that's the main character's name too. What a coincidence. Oh my god. When you write self-insert fanfiction about yourself and then um, it gets really popular so it publishes- Hello? You're a what, Inspector? Hi! Oh, I'm going to work. Bye! Bye! I don't care what you're here for. Um, is this person here to criticize, um, how bad I am at, um, maintaining the, uh, the green footprint of this neighborhood? Because I, I promise I'm working on it, sir. What is the nap, the nap inspector? Okay. 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 So... I think I'm just gonna skip through her work day. Cause there's not much I can do. Oh. I'm afraid this household is not in compliance with the following neighborhood action. Eco-friendly appliances. You will in experience an increase in your bills until the issue is resolved. Sir, I, I can't afford to live eco-friendly. $606? I didn't get a promotion? Why not? Oh, okay. I can do that. Sure. I can do that too. Where is she? There she is. There's my girl. Um, She's gonna go drink a glass of water. Oh, she's cleaning up a glass of water. Did, did Simon bring a glass of water in my house and leave it somewhere? Oh, over here. Very cool. I don't think that was me, but okay. Hey! I literally was going over here to check to see if he would be here, and he's here. 
Should I just invite him to join the household? Should I should I take this man for every uh buck he has? I mean like I feel like that's the next step, right? Did he leave his wife? Are we? We're soulmates, but are we? Open sim profile. Are we together? Yeah, okay, he's my boyfriend. He has the house, he has the key to my house. I don't know why he needs to be invited in all the time. Okay. Yoink that money, get that bag. Okay, heartfelt compliment. Glaive, Narza. Septo. And then we uh friendly. Is there asked to move in? Ask to join household. Wait, I'm gonna do this first because I think that's cute. And then Napa Apolichaba. Zobi's about Apolichaba. Uh Kan Kuya Taru Bakinja. Why does it say suggestive conversation? We're literally just having a conversation. Okay! Oh, God. He has 22,000 simoleons? I mean, she doesn't need any of that, right? Like, she doesn't need any of that, right? <laughs> she has a job. <sighs> Are you kidding? This is the reason you get married in The Sims. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even married. He's just moving into the house. I literally don't even have to marry this man. So Oh my god. I, I like called their bank up on the phone and I was like, take them for everything they're worth. <laughs> Transfer it all. Deeply connected and close to a confidant. Aw, that's sweet. Can I like hug him? Can I like celebrate? Uh, hug lovingly. That's cute. If you spend your days here rigging my toilet to break every single morning, it will be a short time in this house for you. <gasps> Sir? <laughs> Sir? You should know I don't like mischief this far into our relationship. Oh my god, I can play as him now. Let's let's learn a little bit about Simon. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Dang. It's very awkward. It sure is, buddy. It sure is. Do you ever just, like, only have two friends and it's your ex-wife and your current partner? <laughs> Except she's not even his wife. Aw, his, his goal is have a big happy family. That's nice. He wants to spend a thousand dollars. I mean, that's not that much money, but like, why? Okay, he's a shelf stalker. $33 an hour, though? That's not bad. Why does it say he is like, he has like vacation all the time? Why does he not work? Um. Okay, level six charisma. He doesn't need the mischief skill, so I don't know why he's being like this. He's got level five cooking. Okay, okay. This man's- oh, he's got some capabilities. Family-oriented, clumsy, domestic, and goofball. Those are good traits. Those are good traits in a person. Um, does he like mischief? He likes comedy and dancing. He doesn't like mixology. Okay. And he likes purple. Interesting. Okay. Sure. We can work with this. We can work with this. He's a pretty he's a pretty decent canvas. Have a child. Not yet, buddy. Nah, not yet. Exactly, Mario. 
In this good Christian household, we we exchange nuptials before we are having children. <laughs> Absolutely, Rob. Have you stole her partner, made him move into your house, cheated in her face, and robbed her whole net worth? You are a Sims demon. Listen, sometimes life comes at you fast. All right. We're just sleepy, so that's not bad. Let's sweat, what a rush! The boost of adrenaline is making Simon feel amazing. Should he firmly embrace with his astonishing sculpted arms that he likes fitness? Sure! You like fitness, buddy? The way that I am going to- so I think I'm gonna do it off stream just so you guys don't have to watch me painstakingly make a house. Well guys, the next time you see this house, oh god, it's gonna look good. It is not gonna look like this. This is shabby. This is sad. This is pathetic. We are going to get- we're gonna- we're gonna do a different- uh, we're gonna build a different house now that we have $24,000 to our name. I'm gonna write a jingle, see if I can sell it. Um, I also need to play the piano as one of my aspiration things, so... <laughs> Does the goofball trait make him, like, mischief? That- that is probably, um, why he is committing, uh, mischief. <laughs> he did it again! He did it again! He did it again! Well, now I can afford to replace it when it breaks. Um, Sims house building is my fave. Yeah, you like watching it? The Here's the thing, Brilliant, is like, I feel like it's only enjoyable to watch Sims house building when the person building the Sims house, like, knows what they're doing. And, um, I don't know if you can tell by the everything about this house, um, but I do not. I do not know what I'm doing. Um, I, I don't know if you can tell, but this is literally one of the ugliest things that has ever been in The Sims 4. And I'm, I'm big enough to admit that. I'm big enough to admit that this is heinous. This is a crime. There used to be plants all around this side, um, and I had to sell them because I was too broke. So. Very cute. Um, yeah. <laughs> Get that paper. Make that... Make that bank. Listen to alternative music. See, I don't have a stereo. I feel like that should be on our list because a promo likes... Aw, no companies wanted my jingle. That's okay. Because I had a great time writing it, apparently. I'm just gonna have, like, a snack. Can I get, like, a little snack? There's a snack, right? Have a quick meal. Animal crackers. Yeah. Why do- why is, like, everything I put around my stream, like, in my way of some prompt on The Sims? Uh, I think my issue is always making the house too big to fill in the space. That's exactly- I don't know if you can tell, um, again, but yeah, that's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I did. I mean, like, I have all this property. Like, look how much property I have. This is the build mode. Look at how much room I have to work with. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll fill in, like, the front of the lot and then I'll have, like, a nice backyard and stuff like that. Uh, but I had no money, is the thing. Is I had no money. So, there wasn't anything to fill in the house. Like, look at this. This is $10,000 to have, like, a living room that looks like this. And this is, like, a kitchen and a living room. I guess it's kind of a living room. If you consider a coffee table and a couch part of a living room. But, like, these pre-made rooms are so nice and they make me so upset because I do not have the, um, like, oh my god. <gasps> Guys, they sell a hot pot? I did not know that. Hot pot is one of my favorite things. IRL to eat. If you guys have never- if you guys have never had the chance to go to a hot pot place, I highly- Oh, see? She's upset because she had animal crackers and they weren't excellent quality. Oh, he's goofing around. Okay. Look, I made this, like, sad teapot with a lump of clay. Okay, clean this up, and then you can go, yeah, you guys can go, you know, do what lovers do. Uh, because I think you'll do that, and then you will pass out, which is perfect. That fits the timeline. Is he drinking water? He is. He's having a glass of water. And he's like, ah, what a good glass of water. Let me just leave this here and not anywhere not wash it in the sink or anything. 
I don't know at what point my Sims um, decided that they were no longer going to wash things in the sink, but... Oh my god, <gasps> they literally didn't do it. She was just like, no, actually, I am going to go to bed. Actually, I am going to go to bed. Uh, you got some bread for that legal robbery. Exactly. We should get hot pot, Iggy. When we go into the city, let's get hot pot. Well, we can 1,000% do that. I know a hot pot, pot place in the city. <gasps> Beautiful. Yeah. Dude, if you wake me up, uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna kill you. I actually recognize the song that he's playing, so that's- that's something, I guess. It's at least recognizable. Can you imagine trying to sleep and your partner is in the other room just absolutely going at it on a- on a violin and it sounds like this? Careful with pools, too. Always end up making Olympic-sized pools. I, I like, it's funny, I almost never remember to build a pool in The Sims because, um, because, I, I don't know, like, fitness as one of the skills in The Sims is something that I always forget to maintain, so... All right, Simon, here's the thing. It's 3 a.m. and you're wide awake. So what do we want to do? Do we want to go for a little run? Do we want to go into flaunt wealth? Bro. Make it trickle. Yeah, that's damn right. Damn right, make it trickle. You barely got, like, this is, uh, this is, like, uh, middle class. This is, like, you, we're not, we're not rolling with the big, the... The big lads quite yet this is i can afford my modest lifestyle living <laughs> uh let's see i kind of wanna actually you know what we'll do you can moon bathe i didn't know that we'll have him run around the neighborhood and collect all the little things that we can sell um ranger oh my goodness thank you so much for the raid hello 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 welcome in ranger readers hi you know what i just realized um i uh i never vibe check so we can do that right now with the raiders hello raiders welcome in hi 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 um my name is lemon or lem or m or emmy any variation that nickname will do just don't call me mean names because i'm sensitive and i will cry um hi hi link hi ranger welcome in ranger i hope your stream went well tell me all about it what did you do did you have fun um thank you so much for sending your audience over here um i appreciate it a lot guys welcome in welcome to the lemon tree uh, thank you so much for the follow, Ranger. I appreciate it. Um, we are playing The Sims 4, um, but we can, we can, uh, we can take a little vibe check together if you want to. Uh, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that to celebrate the, the raid? Uh, welcome in, guys. Um, yes, thank you! I, it's my first stream back since I took, like, a four-week vacation, because that is how long my family goes on vacation in the summer. Um, so this is, this is our getting back into it stream. I'm having a great time. Um, I'm very, I'm very, very happy to be back. Um, and we're just kind of relaxing. We're having, we're playing Sims. I'm playing the Zodiac Challenge, um, where I have to make a Sim that is themed after a certain zodiac sign every single um generation so i believe this is our aquarius sim i said that a bunch but let me double check that that's what it is um it's the first one on the chart which i believe is aquarius oh not sagittarius there's no way she's the aries i <laughs> zodiac challenge sims four there it is. Yes, it's Aquarius. Okay, confirmed. It's been a while since we visited this family, so. Um, so her traits are that she's creative, a genius, and a music lover. Um, her aspiration is to be a musical genius, and um, it they have like compatibilities, like for your chart, so you're supposed to find someone who's compatible with you, but it's optional. And honestly, I don't know how to figure that out from like pre-made Sims or ones that come with the game, so I'm just, I'm just going to overlook that part. But yeah. Yes, let's get some cat gems in the chat. Aquarius gang. 
It's my birthday is actually in five days, so it's almost Virgo season, um, and I'm out here. I'm gonna be 25. Um, so on on August 28th, it is my birthday, and I will be turning 25. So I'm spending the weekend. I'm going to see Dear Evan Hansen. Um, and then I'm going to go to the Ren Fair with my family and spend my actual birthday at the Renaissance Fair, which is my favorite place on Earth all day long. Um, Hawk, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Lemon Tree. I hope you uh, enjoy the stream. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Virgo gang! Yes, Brillin! Yes! Hi, alligators! Oh my god, welcome in! And Daniel, thank you so much! Welcome in! Thank you for the resub! Thank you, thank you, Twitch baby! Twitch baby time! Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, turn up the music a little bit. Jam out with our vibe check. Uh, but hi guys, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. It's so good to see you. I will be spending it at the Renaissance Fair with my family. I'm so hyped. Um, when I went to the Ren Fair, I didn't buy anything, which is um, insane. I had I had very good control. Um, I did have a Scotch egg though, which is delicious. Scotch eggs are so good. Well, I hope work is going well for you, Daniel. Um, <laughs> I hope you're all doing well, guys. While I'm here, do you want to see? I bought two things. Oh, I bought three Halloween things. Do you want to see them real quick? One of them is this thing sitting in the back. Wait, did I s show them to you? I don't think I did. Look at this. Look at my cool eyeball pillow. I bought this pillow and it was the only one like it in the store. And then I found out that night that when um, you turn the lights off, all of these eyeballs glow and they look at you. So that was a very fun discovery to have. Um, I'll just watch you from back here. Never mind my giant knife, um, <laughs> my giant knife mirror that I have sitting on front of it. Um, yeah, and then this is my new permanent, um, desk, uh, or my ch my chair pillow. I don't know where I was trying to say there, but this is my new permanent chair pillow. It's these little ghosties. I think they're so cute. Uh, who cares if it's not Halloween all year round? I'm gonna have my little ghosty pillow all the time. All the time. We play Phasmo enough on here, the theme fits. And then, I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Yeah, look at my little ghosties hanging above my window. My little ghosty garland. I love them. There we go. Ghosty pillow, ghosties everywhere. <sighs> it's Halloween always, exactly. Anyway, thank you so much for the Raid Ranger. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for vibing with me. I hope you guys took this as an opportunity to stretch, get up, make get your blood pumping, get something to drink, hydrate. Um, this is your med check. If you take if you take medication and you haven't taken it already, make sure you're taking it because you're important and I care about you. Thank you so much, Crispy. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Halloween is like candle nights. Exactly. It can be any time, any day, as long as you have, as long as you believe. As long as you have faith and you believe in the Halloween spirit, it can be Halloween anytime. All right. We'll go back now. Thank you so much for vibing with me. Uh, we'll do this and we'll go back to playing some Sims. We'll probably go for another like... 45 minutes or so, and then I've got to skedaddle because I've got, um, I've got adult, adult business in terms of going out and buying parts for my car. Uh, I called this King's Landing. When did I do that? You could really tell I was on my Game of Thrones shit when I, uh, was playing this game last. Because I'm pretty sure there's a fox around here that I named Ned Stark. All right, you go here, you dig up this. You go over here and we find a frog. We go over here. 
Do we have any rocks? I would really love to find a rock that has a big crystal in it. Oh, I don't want him to have to run all the way over here. We're already so far away from home. Anything over here? Anything? Hmm. Dang, there's not a lot of harvestables just like spawning. Okay. That's all right. Wait, why did it take me here instead of there? Okay. I was like, hello? I don't live here. Who's this? Why are you out and walking around at 3.30 in the morning? I mean, like, I know I'm about to be, but like... That's because God told me to. Yeah, there's no- there's no cool rocks to dig around in. Puppy girl! Oh my god! Lemon! You got a bike ride to get over with? Ooh, well, have fun on your bike ride. That sounds very fun. Oh my god, it's a puppy girl moment! Here it goes. The sacred ears. It's been forever. Hey, yo, puppy time! Actually, I think I have to put them back here now, and I have to push my my hat my headphones forward. Do I do that? Here, let's put the puppy ears on first, and then we'll put the the headphones on around the puppy ears. There we go. There's a package for me. <gasps> Mail time. Mail time. Oh my god! What if it's my tea, guys? What if it's my I Ida tea? Hold on, I gotta go look. Mail time. This is not my tea. No, baby. You can't come in. How so much you're so cute. So cute. Bye. Oh, her little face looking at me. I don't know what this is, so we'll see if it's something that I want to share. It is not my Ida tea yet, but that is coming sometime soon. Oh, this is a. Okay, I bought this on Depop, guys. Okay. Um. This is a- this is a vintage thrifted shirt that I bought for, um, costuming. Um, wow, I didn't even- she didn't even message me on Depop to know- to tell me that she'd sent it. Okay, this is really cool. Um, it's not- it's not my IT, but I wish it was. Um, I just realized that I- I didn't pause The Sims, so he's just running around. <laughs> okay, okay. This is gonna look very strange because it looks like an article of clothing that nobody in this century would wear. That's the point. Okay. I've said okay like 20 times. Okay. So, it is this, this like brown um, blouse that has this like really cool ruffle around the neck. I know that this, uh, trust me, it's a layering piece, guys. You put a corset over this, you put a corset over this. It's also long enough for me to wear it as like a tunic dress. Um, it's very hard to show you because of the way that it's designed. Um, I'd have to, like, put it on to show you how it fits, but you can see, um, down here, this is the bottom of it, it's, like, ruffled almost, it's got this, like, I, I, I don't want to say tattered, because it's not tattered, but it's, like, a pleated ruffle to the bottom of it, and then as you go up, it has this beautiful, like, vintage style, like, buttons down the front of it, um, that kind of cinch in at the waist, and then they have this belt, uh, that's not the belt, that's the sleeve. They have this belt that you can wrap around it to like tighten the waist to your waistline. And then it has this like deep plunging collar that has these ruffles around it. And like um, a sleeve, the, the sleeve that can be long or obviously you can push it up your arm. And it's got this really nice um, like ruffles at the end of it. Guys, I promise you, I know that this looks ugly as sin on its own. <laughs> um, I will style it and, and show you. I, I will style it and show you how it can be uh, used as a really cool costume piece. But I got it. I got it secondhand on Depop, so um, that is uh, a very, very fun piece to have. Um, I'm very excited to style it with my Ren Fair outfits. So I'll show you. I will show you when I style the outfit. I'll post a photo in the Discord, one thousand percent. I might do it after stream. Who knows if I get my errands done? All right, back to Sims. <laughs> 
Uh, where'd our dude run off to? Because he's supposed to be picking frogs up. Oh, did he do it? <gasps> did he finish? He did, because he's playing games on his phone. You got games on your phone, dude? Let's open it up! A poppy! Wow! And then... Wow! A striped eggplant frog! Wow! Okay. Those were not productive. We only earned 40 simoleons off of those. Hmm. Well. Can I befriend, befriend these? Let's watch this and then let's discuss. Let's talk to the birds. I want to become friends with King's Landing so bad. Did anyone watch the premiere of House of the Dragon? Because I I just realized that that happened. Um, I don't think, like, it's so funny because, like, it's so hard to be like, any Game of Thrones fans out there? Like, anyone? Anyone left from the the wreckage that was um, the Game of Thrones uh, show? Oh, shoot, I didn't play a, an instrument and I work in 10 hours. Well, promo, um, wiki wiki, eggs and bakey. Uh, you get 15 minutes to continue sleeping and then I'm waking you up at 6, 6 a.m. I think he got, like, energized by wanting to work out and, like, now here we are. Why are you walking? Yeah! I just want to watch One Piece film, fil film Red so bad. What's uh, that? Is, is there a new One Piece film? <laughs> Please tell me they like the conversation. Oh, I'm befriending the birds. Maybe he'll have a better time of befriending the birds than a promo. I don't know if I want to chat about cats. Talk about the val- ask about the value of a bird in the hand. A bird in the hand is worth one in the bush. All right, Aproma, let's get you on your on your daily tasks. So um, here's the thing. We're going to use this and then I'm going to immediately replace it because I don't have time for you to do stuff. Um, and then I think we're going to continue working on her piano skill um, because she's pretty good at violin and I have a feeling that they're going to keep making her- I just want to get good at writing jingles so that um, I can earn money off of them. Yeah, we're just gonna- we're just gonna replace that. Since we have the money to. <laughs> I think she comes home from work with like $600 every day too, which is pretty good, so I'll take it. There's a new one, but it's only out in Japan at the moment, I think. Ooh, that's cool. I never got into One Piece because it's so unbelievably long. Um, the only like anime of like the big three that I watched was Naruto and I didn't even finish Naruto. I got to, God, I got to really early in, in Shippuden and then I was like, I've seen enough. That's not true, I just, I just like stopped being able to keep up with it, but it was good. It was good. Um, the thing is, I watched Boruto before I watched Naruto, and I really enjoyed Boruto, despite everybody uh, who was a Naruto fan's opinion. I don't care. Boruto did exactly. Uh, Boruto is meant to like raise a new generation of of kids on like the Nar like the concept of Naruto, like the world of Naruto, but not tell the same story that Naruto told. And I think people forget that, because um, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I'm the Boruto Defense Squad. Aww. She feels fulfilled. Good for her. All right, 75% done playing my instrument, and then I'm going to make food. Oh, work starts for you? It says you have a day off. Early bird energy. Wow. Oh, he's got a... He's got a piss, though. My boy's got a piss. Go. 
Are you joking? <laughs> I don't know if he'll make it, gamers. I don't know if he's gonna make it. Not walking at that pace. Oh my god. Embarrassing. Okay, playing our instruments complete. Uh, there's still leftovers, huh? Oh, it's my pie. Alright, stop playing this. I learn how to play- oh yeah, because I'm a quick learner. I was gonna say, I learned how to play piano so quickly. Oof, can we talk about the age gap in Aproma and Simon? Simon's gonna become an adult way quicker than Aproma is. Aproma has... Oh, I thought it- I thought it told you how many days until adulthood if you hovered over it. I guess not. Oh wow, I didn't know they had this. Time's happy 82 and it's higher than anything else. That's great. Vampiric accomplishments. Yeah, no. Oh, he's gonna make it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Proud of you. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Oh wait, I should have sent him... I should have sent him to work because he would have relieved himself at work. Oh well. There are some things that Boruto didn't do well, but those fight scenes are good animations and are... So, but they become awesome, so it's kind of awkward. I wouldn't say it's a bad animation, I just say it's good, but I also think it's alright. It's very good. I like it a lot. Okay, Aproma, you and this ball of clay, what did I say? Alright, he's gonna go to work now. Now that he's, you know, done not pissing himself. Do I work today? I do. I don't work tomorrow. Um, she is working six hours. Oh, I feel like I should, like, make home improvements, but if I start rolling that ball, it's just gonna keep going. It's just gonna keep going. Why don't we study... Oh, wait, I don't actually have any, like, useful books. I think all of my books are, like... I bought, like, all of the Game of Thrones reference books because that's funny to me. Oh, I have a cooking book! I don't think this can get me past because I'm already at cooking level 5 or something. Yeah, I'm at cooking level 5, so I don't think it can get me higher than that. Because it's the beginning... The basic bitch cookbook. Let's see. Get out of my face. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Skill books. What should we do? There's archaeology ones. See, these are baking ones. My goodness. I really want to get good at cooking. What if I bought one of these expensive ones? I'm going to. <laughs> Here it is. Read. I hope it's not too advanced for me. It might be because I'm only a mid-tier chef. A mid... How- it's- how hot is it outside? It's hot, and I've got the fireplace going. There we go. Perfect. At least it wasn't like seven deadly sins. They started out so strong but fell a bit. Oh my god, Scott, I completely agree. I 1000% agree. Uh, I don't know why. I keep like looking for things that I can harvest because I like being able to sell off like the gems and the frogs and stuff like that, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of them spawning right now. Alright. Girl, what are we gonna do with you? You work in four hours. Okay. 
Oh, I could exercise. Let's do that. Let's do a little bit of exercising. Are you gonna put your book back? You are, I'm so proud of you. I find that like, uh, one of the things that I kind of don't like about The Sims 4, I know that it's realistic, but I, it like, uh, it just, it's just so rapid that I'm kind of like, oh, this is an annoying mechanic to have to like, pay attention to is that your sims will like really start to gain weight if they uh don't do any kind of like physical activity oh hi i it's good to hear your voice i wanted to ask you if i should get to know bella goth a little better as a friend they seem like a company yeah go for it uh -huh. Mark i like the goth family wait bella's like a child though why are you befriending a child And she, unless she's the mother, I can't remember which one's the child and which one's the mother. I thought Bella Goth was the, the little girl, though. Do I know her? Oh, Ned Stark is a rabbit. I don't know her, so... Who is this person and why do I not like them? Can I vote on the the neighborhood action plans? <sighs> Can I get this to go away? I know that that's bad, but have you considered that I want to be able to use a normal shower that isn't like powered by the sun? What am I reading? Yeah. Point Farmer or more, the downfall of Grant Radiak. Are we going to work? Yeah? Are we going to work? Three hours. Man. Three minutes is a long time. Should I get to know King's Landing? Hello. Gossip about chickens. Sky! I know, Plue. I know it does. Sky, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello. Thank you so much. Welcome in, Sky Raiders. I hope you're having a lovely day. Sky, how was your stream? Tell me all about it. I, thought I hope you have fun. My name is Lemon or Lem or M or Emmy. Any variation of any name will do. Just don't call me mean names. I'm sensitive and I will cry. And my pronouns are she, her. Oh, what happened? What the what? Along the words that make sense, but this... Oh, yeah, the C. The book is beyond her skill level. That's what I was afraid of. Uh... Dang it, now she's frustrated because the book was too high of a skill level. Select every day. Uh, oh gosh, okay. Uh, your stream is chill, not so many people today, but I love the cuddle, cuddle with the lamb. Oh, you're playing Cold to the Lamb! <gasps> oh my god, I, I saw Plu playing that a little bit. That looks like such a cute game. I really, really want to check that out. Um... You're going on a date tomorrow? I hope it goes well. It's going to be amazing. Uh, my best of luck to you and all the good wishes. You're going to you're going to have so much fun. Of course it has been a while. Yeah, I was on vacation for so long. Um, Cold the Lamb is so fun. I do. I want to I want to try to play it sometime. Oh, did I already look for summer ones? There's like a little gnome. In a in a cute little inner tube. Look at her. I don't like this. I'm putting this this one back away. I don't want to ask for help cleaning. I just don't want this in my house. There we go. And then I have I have a couple of these. Um, puppy girl colds. Yeah. Oh my god, Father, thank you so much for the resub! I appreciate it! I miss you too! Thank you! I did have a good vacation! Thank you, everyone! You guys are amazing! Oh my goodness, get out of my face! Little tiny fruit flies in my house. Ooh, what's happening? Okay, I'm feeling focused. Okay, you've gotta... You've gotta go in like two hours, so what are we gonna do with you? Honestly, not much. Maybe hygiene, maybe shower, maybe a quick shower. Yeah, let's do that. 
We'll take a quick shower and then we'll go to work. Oh, he's taking a nap. As he should. Um, bye bye Have a great day at work. I love you. Thank you. Sky, you have nothing to be nervous for. You're gonna have an amazing time. Hopefully the person is wonderful to you, because if they're not, beat them up. Beat them up. <laughs> a promo had a eureka moment being a genius. This gave them a boost to one of their more practice skills. <gasps> a promo? What did you get? Was Which skill was it? Tell me, girl! Is it singing? Because you're singing in the shower? Oh, so proud of her. You met them at Pride this weekend? Oh my god! Aw, that's so nice! I hope you have a wonderful time. Yeah, there is a puddle on the ground. Take care of it instead of just bitching about it to the air. She really, like, lives in this home, and I think is the one who made the puddle, and she's like, oh, there's a puddle in the bathroom! Why do we live like this? Alright, she's gonna go to work very soon. Um. There she goes. Is this Archer? No. There are so many little fruit flies that all of a sudden emerged. What the heck? It is Archer, okay. I will kill you. There's a snack called Deets Nuts. Yes! Um, I've seen that before. I think I've actually had them before because I think my cousin had them and I pulled them out of their pantry and being like, oh my god. You gotta admit it though, that's kind of genius. That's that's a genius thing to name your company. All right, you have to eat leftover whatever the heck this is, because um, we have to empty out this fridge before a Proma is like... Ugh. It gets all snobby about the food. Because this is not excellent quality. Milk bread. Oh, that's right. I bought like three loaves of milk bread because it's Oikaiwa Toru's favorite. <laughs> that's a reference for the Haikyuu fans. I I truly hate what this looks like because it looks like bread with just like milk splattered on it and that's terrible. Thank you, Iggy. Thank you. Genius marketing strategy and we'll get any mischief people uh cough to just go by the mountain troll. Yeah, exactly. Okawa my most beloved. I Okawa was my favorite. Um I was an Okawa stan. I say was as if I am not currently. I completely am. He loves Milfred. Unruly fans. Regular gigs are great, and so are regular fans. Until a promise fans get a bit unruly. When a sweaty mosh pit of men break three different tables on three different nights, the club manager tells a promo to get it under control or get off the stage. Will she confront her fans or take the party elsewhere? Oh, man. I feel like I don't want fans who are disrespectful, but I feel like it will decrease my... I feel like it'll decrease my public image if I talk to the fans. Hmm. I, I, th oh, talk to them, put them in their place. Yeah, like reasonably, if this was a real scenario, this is what I would do, so I'm gonna do it. See, I lost, yeah. It should be written somewhere, never side with the establishment against your own fans. A promise fans storm out and smash her reputation on every message board and social site they can think of. Why do fans get so angry? So yeah, I did lose performance for that, but um, dang. Ooh. Fans want to hear music, not advice on how to act in a club. Yeah, I knew that that would happen though. We're going to work hard to overcompensate. I, I don't care. Are you supposed to be at work, or are you just chilling in your work uniform? I think you're just chilling in your work uniform, so let's change. Oh no, it just says work for Simon starts in about an hour. Did he not already work today? I swear this man went to work already today. I really want to renovate the house because I have the funds to do it now, but I don't 
I- it's gonna be such a long pro- like, process, and I'm only gonna be streaming for like 15 more minutes! Here's what I'll do. If you guys wanna watch me build the house, I will- Oh my god, the drama! Why is she here? Wait, did she leave? Oh, she disappeared. Oh my god, I was literally about to be like, this girl. Not her coming over to see her ex- her ex-man while I'm at work. But she disappeared into the ether, so it's fine. It's fine. Um. Oh good, he's actually cleaning up after himself. What a gentleman. Um. Why did I get a clumsy lesson? Did I drop the plate? Maybe. Um. What was I saying? <laughs> oh, I'll plan out the house before I go live. Like, I'll practice in another, in like a different world. I'll just build on like an empty lot and then I'll recreate it here so that I have at least like an idea of what we want to accomplish. Okay, and I'll give myself the same budget that I have in this game so that I know. Mass, thank you so much! <laughs> You're so right, Scott. All right, he's going to work, which means, um... Oh, I'm so... Oh, look, we're so close to excellent. <gasps> Girl, oh! I earned a vacation day. How long has it been? A perma can't help but wonder if this career is right for her. One thing is for sure, there needs to be some kind of change, right? Oh no, is she questioning her career path? Looming anxiety from fear of dead-end job. That anxious feeling looms over a promo as she discovers something new about herself. A fear that wasn't there before or growing inside. Ready to overcome a promo into uh, paralysis at any point. Oh no. Passionless job. Oh girl, are you gonna go cry? No, you're gonna sleep. But girl, your, your dream is to be... Uh, is to be a music... A musician. Hey, Simon got promoted. He's been promoted to sales floor clerk. He will now make an additional $7 per hour for a grand total of $40 per hour. He's also received a following bonus of $180. Dude, this job sucks. The job you were working, it's bad. But good job. <laughs> all right before you go to bed um maybe you want to take care of look even she pranked the toy or no he must have done that because she literally came home and went to bed why why are they like this why do they insist on doing this every time i feel like he's gonna get really hungry in the middle of the night and then he'll wake up and be like i'm starving so he'll we'll have him eat some leftover pie and then um, yeah, get- uh, shut up. Go to the kitchen. We eat a little bit and then we go to sleep. Of course, I baked brownies and brought- bought watermelon for tomorrow- oh my god! That sounds so fun! See, when I had a picnic with my friend, um, uh, my go-to, uh, picnic meal- here- here's the- here's the tea, everyone. One of the easiest and nicest things to make for a picnic um, are, you know, like, the pita bread that's, like, they sell pita in, like, round loaves like this, and then you can, like, cut pita bread and make, like, a pocket out of it? You get those, you get the mini ones, you cut them in half, you take hummus, preferably roasted garlic hummus, and you, like, you put that on the inside, and then you take fresh cucumber and you tuck that in. And it, it is... It is so good. It is such a nice little like finger sandwich. It is so good. Trust me on this. I would never leave you lead you astray when it comes to picnic foods. I'm so sad that she feels like she's in a dead end job. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? All right, she's going to be uh, a B word about breakfast, so I'm going to just have her make her own breakfast and hopefully she makes it excellent. Hard to, though, with um, this oven, but we'll see. A pita pocket, exactly. 
Last time I had a picnic with my friends, a duck came up on our carpet and ate my chips. Oh no! My date is bringing sandwiches and iced tea. That sounds so good. Oh, I hope you guys have a lovely time. We're just gonna... The next step is to like deck out the kitchen as well. Like I can't, I can't wait. I, I like have to like show you guys my other uh, Sims house to prove that I know how to decorate a space. It's just the fact that I had no money and too much space. Look at how pretty the light coming through the windows over here looks though. I really like the design of this. It's just way too big. It needed to be more narrow so that I had like a closer knit space instead of all of this empty floor space. Y'all making me kind of hungry. Yeah, I'm also starving. I had breakfast. I had um, Honey Nut Cheerios for breakfast. Um, with sweetened almond milk with honey. My God, chef's kiss. So good. Um, okay, then we're going to use the bathroom and then I had to play an instrument. I think I will once again practice the piano, although he's sleeping in here. How close is he to being done sleeping? Oh, he's done. Wake up. Um, take a brisk shower. Why not? What's this? He wants to prank? No. Clear this aspiration. And then... Practice. He wakes up every day and chooses violence, is his issue. He took a brisk shower and still ended up flirty. What's that about? Oh, it's because I was in the room. Because <laughs> a promo was in the room. We still out here eating this pie. This is definitely several days old at this point. Just download three dating apps at 10 p.m. the night before Friday for fun. Well, that's good, Sky. I hope you have a great time. See, she made a bad meal and now she's upset at herself. I'm legit just gonna grab a few granola. There's nothing better than peanut butter chocolate chip. So true. Dude, peanut butter is just the best flavor. I think it's Blue that doesn't like peanut butter. Can't really. I love peanut butter so much. What's he gonna do? He's gonna stretch. Okay. I don't know if you guys have insomnia cookies where you're at, but insomnia cookies is like a business that if that you can, they will make you fresh baked cookies until like three in the morning and deliver them to your house. They have this like, like peanut butter chunk cookie that is so good. Wait, what the heck? Didn't you just shower? Why are you smelly again? I literally sent you in there to shower. Does brisk shower not completely clean you? 50% done, okay. Keep doing that for 50% more time. Let's hope that a promo gets promoted today and she doesn't feel like she's stuck in a dead end job. I feel like that will improve her. It doesn't, a brisk shower doesn't make you like all the way clean. Wow, the neighborhood's really gonna be mad at us for this one. He did just take three showers in one morning. The neighborhood's gonna be like, um, so we heard that you used, like, enough water to, like, uh, bathe a small village this morning? What's that about? Um, what's that about? Hmm? You're not, like, complying with the eco-friendly systems, and now you're out here, what, like... <laughs> uh, how do I do that? Oh, I need like upgrade parts that are like, did he actually break the shower? I can't live like this anymore. Oh, it's only $180. Okay, we'll just replace it. All right, bye Simon. Have a good day at work. 75% done. Come on, Aproma. I'm gonna let her increase this skill because I feel like she'll get there. <laughs> 
Oh, you like peanut butter? Oh, that's right, that's right. Someone I know, like, really hates peanut butter. I had someone tell me they hated Reese's Pieces, but like peanut butter M&M's. Like, that's the same thing. And ours is made first. Yeah, also, like, Reese's Pieces is, like... Um, I will say, like, there's not as much chocolate in Reese's Pieces. It's literally just a candy coating on peanut butter. Level five, let's go. My God, we out here grinding. All right. Yeah, I think she's gonna get promoted today. Um, obviously we're not gonna stress her out by overworking her. This is so sad. Um, I hope that she will return from work sad. Ah. Uh... I can change career paths now! I'm making good money! Oh my god. <sighs> like, it's, her entire thing is music. Why is she upset? I don't think there's even, like, another... Home? Book celebrity cleanse? Uh, oh no. Order a delivery. Are any of these- oh wait, business. I just want to look and see if there's like an alternate- I don't think there is though. I think being an entertainer and being a musician is the only path that has like a music aspect to it. Obviously, actress is there, but that's not really music. Critic? No, this is like- oh, well. Arts critic. I feel like that's not her vibe, though. Wow, there's a lot more jobs than there used to be. Holy cow. Diver? Fisherman? Oh my god. Where did these come from? Yeah, see, like, there's nothing that's really, like, better for her than what she's already doing. I think she just needs a promotion to get over it. to get over that fear of being in a dead-end job. What's this? I need to solve hard problems. I'll do that. Solve hard problems. She really likes to read. Uh, I, I will say it's probably because there's like three things for her to do in her house. One of which is reading. The other two are like being, are like music things. There was, um, I swear I saw a log to harvest. Well, there's that patch of stuff. Oh, here they are. It's just the same ones in the same location. Alright. We're solving hard problems. Your sirens? I'm only five foot six. If I dress up, I think I can still go trick-or-treating. I- so, uh, guys, don't tell the government, but I, uh... I can do that. Um, we went, when we were in Boston, we went to visit the USS Constitution, which is, um, that's not what I wanted you to do. Oh, she's very focused. Um, can I upgrade you? Ooh. I feel like I should just buy a new toilet. Okay, I'll save- I'll save all the house renovations to the next time we play. Um, I think that we're actually going to- well, we're gonna send a promo to work today, which is- Oh wait, she doesn't work for another two days, so this is- this is fine. Um, I think I'm gonna call it here, um, because, uh, it is almost 3.30 and I have things I need to do today. <laughs> so, um, I think we're gonna call it now but thank you guys so much for um hanging out with me today um i had a lot of fun um let me let me just quickly exit save and exit um 
But yeah, this was really, really fun. I'm so glad to be back. Um, I will be back on Thursday and we're going to be playing Hooked on You, which is the Dead by Daylight dating simulator. I am so excited. And in the meantime, I will plan out how I want the new Sims house to look and then we will, um, we will build it and renovate and give them give them the life they truly deserve to be living and hopefully try and find a way that I can be more eco-friendly because apparently my neighborhood is insistent on that. So, um, I love you guys so much. What was the story I was gonna tell us? Oh, um, yeah, sorry. I went to the USS Constitution when I was in Boston um, and um, that is the oldest commissioned ship by the US military. It was like the first commission commissioned ship we ever had built for our military. Um, so it's like an old style uh, like Navy ship. Um, and uh, like we're talking like colonial era Navy ship. And apparently to uh, tour the USS Constitution, if you're older than 18, you have to have your ID. I don't know why. Um, but if you're older than 18, you have to present a valid ID. Um, the thing is, is that I forgot my ID back home um, and I was in a completely different state. So um, I didn't have my ID on me. So I was like, I, I was like, I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to go in because I don't have an ID with me. And my dad was like, what do you mean? You're 17. And I was like, so true. I am 17. I'm 17. And so I, uh, I just didn't present an ID and I was like, yeah, I'm 17. And I, like, as my, my, uh, mom got her id checked i like just i like skittered after her in hopes that they wouldn't ask me about my id it helps that my brother who is 22 um is um taller than me so feasibly feasibly i could look like a 17 year old <laughs> uh so i'm not i'm not i have no bad feelings about that um shall we um Find someone to raid. Let me see. Let me see if there's anyone around that I'd like to send y'all to. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll send you over to um someone who's playing Cult of the Lamb. Um, so um, thank you guys so much for being here. I love you all so so much. I really appreciate y'all being here. Uh, thank you so much for all the subs today. You are amazing. Um. Uh, I am so happy to be back and I will see you all on Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, And I'm gonna do my best to start putting in work and really enhancing the stream experience I might like change my layout a bit. We'll see uh, what we end up doing but um, In the meantime, we are going to raid out to this This person I just want to make sure that they're not ending before I send you all over there. Um, I hope you had a good time This was very nice. Thank you for letting me ramble and chatter at you guys for like an hour Well, and then relaxing with me while we played sims. It's been so long since I've gotten to play sims on stream I'm very very excited uh, to continue that series um, and we we had Simon move in and took him for everything he was worth so Progress was made Um, Hold on. I'm, I'm sitting through an ad Okay Let's see. Okay, they are definitely in the middle of the game. So, bye guys, I love you so much. Um, Say hello to the lovely streamer that we're raiding uh, today. Uh, I She is very, very sweet and very kind and um, I really love her content. So, um, bye, here are the uh, raid messages for y'all. Um, that is if you are not sub to me, if you are sub to me, you can copy and paste the one with the hype emotes, uh, implied in them, uh, and send, send you on over. Um, I hope you have a lovely rest of your Tuesday. Goodbye, I love you guys. Mwah. Bye, bye, bye! And they always asking questions about my face, can't relate, fucking caught my own reflection, broke a mid the other day, got a lot of bad shit that I'm taking to my grave, got a fucking day with death on house arrest till trial day, so I grab the red wine on rainy days and then I pull it, cause I'll age another fucking thousand days before I know it, yeah, I spend them all inside, waste my time while I'm scrolling, but I love when it rains, cause I'm agoraphobic. Jesus.